the next day, the great crowd that has come to the festival heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. They took their palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. Jesus found a donkey and sat on it as it is written. Do not be afraid, daughters of Zion. See, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey coat. At first, his disciples did not understand all of this. Only after Jesus was glorified did they realize that these things had been written about him and that these things had been done to him. Now the crowd that was with him when he called Lazarus from the tomb and raised him from the dead continually to spread the word. Many people because they had heard that he had performed this sign went out to meet him. So the Pharisees said to one another, see, this is getting us nowhere. Look how the whole world has gone after him. You may be seated. Just, just for a thought, We would like to see Jesus. Amen. We would like to see Jesus. You have to, to excuse me as I use my imagination on some of this, but, but you have to take and put yourself back 2014 years ago. There was a great crowd on that day celebrating the feast of the Passover. I can imagine it was only on that day that everybody came together and it almost looked like uh, um, the uh, Times Square on New Year's Eve. One of the historians wrote, they estimated it was almost two million people involved in this great Passover feast. It is known that 256,500 lambs were slayed for one Passover. Each, rep, each lamb represented 10 people or 10 worshipers. Thousands of them gathered around the world to come in. I, I, and those of you who are in business, you know, you realize that you, they needed housing, they needed food, they needed arrangements, they needed stuff to go on with all these people being in their city. Yeah. It was like a carnival atmosphere. It was bound and, and, and it was mobbed and people were jammed into the streets and the celebration was going on and folks were everywhere. Amen. This holiday came once a year and these people came together. Just the fellowship of the Passover. It is rare that we are read this one uh, account and all four of the Gospels, Mark, Luke, John, and Matthew, it's rare that we see all four of them saying the same thing on this particular day. So this particular day must have been important. Because sometimes when you read the Gospels, you might get something in the first two books, or you might get something in one book, or you might get something in three books, but you rarely get it in all four of the Gospel books. So as the crowd was gathering and this festival was going about and they heard that Jesus was coming into the city. Jesus had found a colt that he sat on, a colt like a, a donkey, and he began to sit on it and ride into the city. One historian says that even as he sat on the coat, his, 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 on the donkey, his feet hang over, striking the ground as he was going into the city. And they began to wave their palm branches, welcoming him, Jesus. They began to welcome him as he was coming into the city. And we take a look right now at the crowd. 
Imagine if you were there. What would you see? What were they thinking about? Well, I believe if we took and we examined the crowd a little bit, we would find that the first thing we would see is the ones who were there were to amuse and laugh at Jesus. They were amused and laughing at Jesus. First, we find it was the Roman soldiers. The Roman soldiers were there, so they had to keep the crowd contained. They wanted to make sure that there was no riots being broken out because they, they, the Romans were in charge of the city. They were in charge of the country. They wanted to make sure everything was going to go all right. But imagine the Roman soldiers standing there, and as they're standing there, they see Jesus come in, sitting on a donkey on his triumph entry. Imagine him saying, what kind of king is this? See, see, because if, you, if the Roman soldiers, they saw other leaders come into their country, they saw other people come into Rome, they saw that when they went out and they, they slayed over 5,000 people, the general would come into the city and it was like a, it was like a parade, a ticker tape parade. The general be on his gold uh, chariot with white horses in front of him, coming in as a leader with his army following behind, and then all their captives coming behind them, leading them up to the arena. That as they lead them up to the arena, for the enemy to go into the arena and fight wild beasts. So when when the Romans saw him coming, they were like, "What kind of king is this?" I, I, I know how kings are supposed to come into a city, but here this king come. He lowered himself. What kind of king will ride on a dumb animal? What kind of king will come in and, and, and as he's riding on, on this animal and his feet striking the ground and what kind of entrance is this? But there's not too much written about what the Romans thought. And, and, and that's a good thing. Because if there was, I'm pretty sure we would be pretty close to what they thought. But see, even today, we have folks that think about Jesus as a so-called king. They, they think that we are, are, are here just to worship a, a, a king, that uh, worship a man that who they don't even know. They say, you had never seen him. And yet when he came into the city, he came in riding on a donkey. People are amused at the story. They laugh at the stories when you, when you begin to tell them. You begin to tell them that, that Jesus was able to heal the blind. Yeah. He made the lame to walk. Yeah. He gave the deaf to hear. Yeah. He walked on water. Yeah. He calmed the storms with just a word. Yeah. He fed 5,000 with two, with two fish and five loaves of fish. Yeah. They will think you're out your mind, you believing in all that. And they laugh at us. They laugh at Christians. And they laugh because we worship uh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That could be the problem with some of the people that's standing in the crowd that just came to see what was going on. But there was another group that was in the crowd. The ones who wanted to join the party and get, and get what they can get for themselves. We find that over in verse number nine, in the same chapter, Jesus was having dinner with a, a, a Martha and, and Mary. And verse nine says, and meanwhile, a loud, a large crowd of Jews found out that Jesus was there and came not only because of him, but because of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. 
these people came. They wanted to be a part of the party. They wanted to see what was going on, but they didn't come to worship Jesus. They came to see what was going on and until they get what Lazarus got. Now, I don't know about you, but, but I know today we, we call folks zombies who come back from the dead and walk around. We look at them, call them zombies. But they were curious because they saw they know this man was dead. He was dead for four days, and yet Jesus brought him back to life. Folks wanted to see what he looked like. Yes. Yes. I'm pretty sure he looked the same before he died as he did when he was resurrected. Folks wanted to come. They, they weren't coming to hear Jesus. They were coming to see the blessing because they realized wherever Jesus was, there were some blessings that were about to take place. And, so, and, and folks, they begin to, to miss the miracles because the only thing they're looking for is the miracles and they miss the master. See, see, if you come in looking for something to happen in your life and you miss the master, you miss the blessing. Oh, y'all, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. These folks came, they were just spectators. They just wanted to see what was going on, see what they could get out of it. And we got folks that come to church just to come. Lord knows they want to know who's sick in the day. They want to. They want to know, who, you know, what, who somebody got on. They, they want to know what's going on in church. And, and don't let there be food here. Because if there's food here, they'll run you over trying to get to the plate. They, they didn't come to worship. They didn't come. They came to get from Jesus, but they don't want Jesus. You ever see somebody who, who want to get a healing? But just give me the healing, but don't give me Jesus. You ever see somebody that wants deliverance? I want to stop smoking. I want to stop drinking. I want to stop, stop, stop. But I don't want Jesus. I, I don't want your Jesus. You keep your Jesus. Just give me the blessing. These folks were standing in the crowd looking for something other than Jesus. Uh, Y'all don't hear. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. See, 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 because verse, verse 18 says, many people, because they had heard of the performance, the, the signs, they went to meet them. They came to see the signs. And it's sad sometimes because some churches become mega churches. The crowd becomes big. The attendees become good. But they came because of the great concerts, maybe. Or they came because of the shows that goes on. Or they came because their name, that church name is always in the paper. And because that church name is always in the paper, I want to be a part of that big church. I want to hang out. Also know where I go. See, they didn't come looking for the master. They came to see what they could get from him without going to him. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all don't hear me. I, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. My, 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 my third one was uh, they, they were there. <clears throat> they, they, they were there, the ones who wanted power and prestige. Because when you look at that 19th verse, the Pharisees said to one another, See, this is getting us nowhere. Look, the whole world is going after him. Wherever there is power, wherever you can find something going on, the Pharisees was there. Whenever the prestige was around, the Pharisees wanted it. They wanted the praise. They wanted the glory. They wanted to be looked at. They wanted them to have the influences. They wanted folks to come to them. They wanted folks to realize who they were. And see, we find that even in some, some churches today, that our churches have become more of a Pharisee style. Because, because the, 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 the church or the pastor, he wants to stand out front as the church become a mega church. It ain't because God made it a mega church. It's because I did it. They, they want the credit. They want the credit for the people coming in. They want the credit for how the churches stand. They want the credit. They want the, theme. They want the, they want the glory now here on earth. So not everybody in the crowd was, was there looking to praise Jesus. Not everybody in the crowd was coming. 
But even for those churches and those church leaders and those preachers, all those that are standing there looking for the, for the glory to come to them versus for the glory going to God. Yeah. Well, the Bible says in uh -huh. Ezekiel 34 and, and 2 and 3, it says, Son of man, prophesy saying to the shepherd of Israel, prophesy and say to them, this is the sovereign Lord saying, woe to the shepherd of Israel who only takes care of themselves. And should the shepherd not take care of the flock, shall not take care of the flock. Should not take it. He says, you eat the curves, you, you close yourself with the wolves, and, and, and you slaughter the fine choice animals for yourself, but you do not take care of the flock. God's gonna, he got, he got it already worked out that if you don't take care of the flock, he's gonna take care of you. We need to learn how to put God first in all things. There, there, was, there was a couple of verses I left out. Because when I, when I left them out, because the title was, We, we Want to See Jesus. But, but I left out just a couple of verses because I didn't want you to jump ahead of me. You know, we showed all the, 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 the people that were there in the crowd that it really didn't want to see Jesus. But now I need to show you those who came to see Jesus. Is that all right? Because verse 20 and 21 says, Now there were some Greeks among them who walked up to worship at the festival, the feast. And they came to Philip, who was at Bethsaida, and, and, and Galatia. Gal mm, Gal I know what the word is. And said, sir, we would like to see Jesus. Sir, we would like to see Jesus. They went up to Philip and said, sir, we would like to see Jesus. Oh, how that sounds so sweet. Oh, how if we all came into the house of God and, and just want to see Jesus. Oh, how different our lives will be when we come in and just want to see Jesus. You know, you know, you know I just want to see Jesus. I didn't come to, to see the preacher. I didn't come to hear you sing. I came to see Jesus. See, see, they didn't come to criticize. They didn't come to put anybody down. They didn't come to look to see who was here and who wasn't here. They just came to worship. They just came to lift up the name of the Lord. See, 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 and we got to get to that point that we just got to stop. We got to stop looking at everything else and just come in and look for Jesus. See, see, when we see Jesus and worship his name, God is glorified. When we recognize that Jesus represents the love that God has for us. Oh my God, oh my God. When we recognize that he died on the cross, we can be changed. When we recognize that God has given his only begotten son to die for you and for me, that we might have life and have it more abundantly, we, we, will, we will begin to change. Our, our perspective will begin to change when we see how and believe the truth and the, oh my God and be, be who God is and who Jesus is our worship begin to change. see 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 when we realize what God has done for us and we come in to give him honor we come in to give him praise and we, all we want to do is just lift his name because we really just want to see Jesus see, see 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 that's when we really we walk into the presence of God that's when we get into his presence because now we're looking for Jesus and, 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 and see and see and they didn't realize what they were doing when they say Hosanna when they shouted out Hosanna 
The Hebrew word means he who saves. He who saves. They were yelling out, he who saves. That's what Hosanna means. But they were yelling it out to welcome the king. Not realizing this was the king of honor from heaven. Not realizing he was the king of kings. And he was the Lord a Lord. Not realizing he was the king that was going to triumph over death. Not realizing they were giving praise to the Lamb of God. Not take away the world's, the sin of the world. They didn't realize who they were giving praise to. Is there anybody in here right now just came to worship? Is there anybody in here right now just came to lift up the name of the Lord? Is it Anybody who just, oh my God, who just looking to be healed by God. I, 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 I just want to see Jesus. I, I just need Jesus. I demand to see Jesus. I ain't needing to see Jesus. Oh, just don't show me a picture of him. Just don't tell me about him. But I came to see Jesus. I came to see the Alpha and the Omega. I came to see the beginning and the end. I came to see the Lily and the... I came! Oh my God. 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 See, 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 we can finish playing church and we begin to focus on Jesus. Folks will get healed. Well, when, you, when you stop playing church and just focus on Jesus, folks will get delivered. See, 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 we got folks walking around here dying in this world. And we can't even lead them to Jesus. But when we put Jesus first, second, and the last thing in our life. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. I don't, I don't know about you, but I came to see Jesus. I came to lift him up. I came because he said, if you lift him up, he will draw all men unto him. I came to see Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. I'm done. I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. See, 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 because if you take Jesus out of the church, can't nobody pray right. If you take Jesus out of the church, can't nobody sing right. If you take Jesus out of the instruments, it don't even sound right. If you take Jesus out of the preacher, it ain't right. But we came to see Jesus. We didn't come for no show, no form, no fashion. I can care less your new clothes. I can care less your new hat. All I want to know if you want Jesus. All I need to know if you want.
I'm gonna say this, cause he over here pushing me, and, and, and then I'm gonna go sit down. Is that all right? We need a heart that want to be filled with Jesus. We need a heart. See, 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 see. Some of our hearts done got hard, and we don't want to let Jesus in. But Jesus said, "I knock at the door. I, I don't bang at the door. I just knock." at the door and it's up to you to open your no 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 yes no 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 yeah. Yeah. oh y'all see see y'all 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 don't work it out y'all don't work it out Y'all done worked it out.